Uh oh, there he goes again. He's ripping line. Oh, there he is. I got a sale. What's up guys, Wayne here. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to Sea Pro Fishing. Today was Sunday, May 2nd. I headed offshore looking for snapper. It was a really tough day. It started out difficult. It was an extremely strong current. It took 12 ounces just to barely hold bottom. Also, there was a cold water bomb, so it made the bite real tough. I found a big school of snapper, most likely mutton. Couldn't get them to bite. So about three hours went on. Still didn't have any fish, but I kept pushing. That's what you gotta do. You wanna put fish in the, in the box on a tough day, you just gotta keep pushing. Came in a little shallower, dropped down, hit a keeper mutton, just 18 inches. Right after that, hit a 17 inch mutton, and then I anchored up, got a nice sailfish, which gave me the fight for the day, but it was still a long, tough day. On the way in, I stopped in 50 feet, picked up several lane snapper that my wife loves for dinner, and I called it a day. Sometimes you're just not going to have an, an all out day of just catching a lot of fish and you got to work really hard to get what you get. So I hope you guys enjoy the action. If you have any questions about the rigs I use, especially for mutton snapper where you have to have a long fluorocarbon leader. I use a 30 pound fluoro and it's about 40 to 50 feet long. So when that weight sits on the bottom, that long leader just floats in the current and the mutton don't get scared off by the weight or a heavy leader. Also. I used a downrigger because I wasn't getting, I didn't have a single bite on the surface today. And uh, I decided, use the downrigger. I was marking some fish in 50, and that's when I hooked up on that sail, so that worked out for me. Anyways, enjoy the action. Thanks for joining. Tight line. Baby, right on the money. Another one on the on the uh, ballyhoo plug. Just cranking on them, cranking on them with the. Hope we didn't lose them. Oh man, I might have lost them. No, he's still down there. I think he's still down there. Oh yeah. Oh really? He fought a lot harder. That's not a keeper. But he fought harder than the last one. Man. I might not measure that. Well, yeah I will. But I know he's only like 16, 17, so he's an inch short. Is 
See, I'm marking a lot of fish in like 40 to 50 feet down. So what's nice is with this downrigger, I can use it to get the bait exactly the depth I want it. There's been days where I only get hits using a downrigger, especially in the warmer months. Make sure the bait's plenty far away from the downrigger ball. And he's put in a clip. Place the weight down gently so it doesn't pop it out. Swing the arm out. It's down going to that clip, clip perfectly. Make sure your clipper's on. It's not in gear when you go to put the ball down. And we're gonna drop it down. My counter's off, it says 85, but we'll drop it down uh, 50 feet. So we gotta go to 135. Plus a few extra feet for the current. So we'll do 140. Oh, we got a big fish on a downrigger. <laughs> Put on a downrigger, we got a big fish. Big fish. <sighs> Told you guys, 50 feet down. Now he's coming at me now. I'll get some line back. Ugh. He was taking it really slow. I thought the I thought the the line had come loose because I didn't see a hit or hear a hit. It didn't pop out like dra dramatically. Yeah, we got we got a good fish. Taking one. There he goes. Oh yeah. There I feel him. I wonder what we got. There he goes again. I just hope no boats come by. Let's get this downrigger ball up. Oh, this fish got some weight. That's up. I just changed my battery when this guy hit, thank God. Oh. Here he comes. Uh oh, there he goes again, he's ripping line. Oh, there he is, I got a sail, I got a sail. He never jumped. There he is jumping now. He never jumped. What is going on? This is the... Guys, I hooked the sailfish last week. On a troll, it never jumped. And now this guy took forever to jump. I was thinking shark. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pilcher down on the... There we go. <sighs> My sail's jumping right in this guy's face. <laughs> in your face, buddy. Sea pro style.
current leader. There we go. <clears throat> oh man, his sail is beautiful. Purple's in it. Beautiful. Look at this, guys. Look at the eye. Look at this beautiful fish. Beautiful sail. Look at that. Let's let him go. Oh. All right, guy. Come on. It's time. It's time. There we go. So last stop, we're going to stop in about 55 feet of water and see if we can find some schools of uh, snapper, mangroves, wings. Uh, just see if we can fill up our snapper aggregate, which is 10, and get a bunch of meat. Since uh, the offshore bite didn't really uh, work for me today, it's fun to battle that sail. We've got to keep her mutton, but we've got to load up before we go in. So in the shallower, let's see what we can find. I'm just going to use a chicken rig with some cut squid. You can kind of catch everything off the reef with these a shallow reef and looking for some small snapper really easy to put one of these together i use um 30 pound fluoro and uh depending on the current it makes it easier to, to change out your weight at the bottom because it's just through a loop it's got a little jacked up here but usually it's easy to change all right that is on the chicken rig, squid. Come on, baby. That is what I'm talking about right there. That's how you get some meat. Two beautiful keeper lane snapper. And you still got bait. Here we go. 